Welcome to the next episode of the Pokemon Wheel of Fortune. Now look at these six Pokemon. Forget the moves, forget everything else, just the six Pokemon. Does it not look like I just stole a random kid's game and went on to Battle Spot with their in-game team? Battle Stadium, technically, I guess. Uh, yeah, we're a little bit off meta with this one <laughs> because we had no choice. O and Q, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's kind of brutal, you know? There's not much to choose from. And, uh, well, this is what we've got. But before we get into the team, please do consider liking the video and or commenting because it really, really does help as we saw a couple of episodes back. YouTube's gone back to pushing my videos only on the, the third day, I assume, because this isn't the third day of my previous episode being uploaded yet. It's only been two days. Um, but it really does help a lot. Please do consider doing so. If you want to comment but you're not sure what to comment, here's something for you, a little, a little question for you. So if you're not new to the channel, you'll see there's a chancy in the middle of the wheel when I spin it. Why is there a chancy there? See if you can answer that question. Anyway, onto this absolute abomination of a team we've got going on here. So, Overquill, probably going to be leading every game, of course, it has a nice ability in Intimidate, one of the few things we've got going for us when, when putting this team together. And uh, in the last episode, I was, I was quite amused because we saw a self-destruct Overquill. Little did I know that that may have been uh, a sign from my future self uh, that, that I will probably be needing to use that in this episode and that's what we've gone with. We've got self-destruct over quill with a choice band, normal terror and it's got double edge as well but anyway the less said the better on that. We'll be leading that next to Oricorio or another Pokemon. Basically our two speed control Pokemon so Oricorio of course it's ghost type so we're, we're immune to that self-destruct and it has tailwind. Also has sunny day because once we get the tower wind up, we might be bringing in the, the heavy hitter itself. <laughs> it's Quillava, guys. Choice Specs Quillava. Now, why don't I have a, a grass move? You might, why, why not solar? It, it doesn't get solar beam, guys. Why not energy? It doesn't get energy ball, guys. The only other special moves this Pokemon gets are extra sensory, and I don't need the psychic coverage because it's just rubbish, uh, and swift. And I'm not using swift. Why would I do that? So we've got the triple fire moves. Of course, we've got eruption. That, that, that's the main selling point here. We've got eruption and uh, just a random quick attack it because we might need to, I don't know, finish things off. I doubt we'll ever get to that stage, but <laughs> you never know. But anyway, so Quilava, that's why that's there. We've also got the, the, the Quaquaval. I've never said that Pokemon's name out loud before. I assume that's how you say it. We've got Moxie, we've got Choice Scarf. It's a pretty good Pokemon, honestly. Uh, it's, it's a little bit uh, frail, but you know, whatever. We'll try and not get it knocked out before it can knock out the opposing Pokemon, especially with the Moxie ability and the Aqua Step move, which boosts its speed. So that's Quackle Val. Now, if we can't go Tailwind, we're going Trick Room with Orangaroo, of course. Look at this set, it's got Symbiosis. We've not gone in a focus because our opponent's going to assume we've got in a focus, so we're technically cheating with two abilities there because they're going to assume we have it, they're not going to fake us out. So we've got uh, the, yeah, the Symbiosis Oranguru with Bulldoze because my old favourite, of course, we've got Pokemon next to it with Weakness Policy. Oinkalone is the best option <laughs> for this setup that I had available. Fire Terror and uh, honestly, you know, we've got double 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 edge on this team, but I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of hyped to try out an, an Instruct Giga Impact. I think that, that might be something that I hope we see. Anyway, that's the team. If I, if I lost to this, I would I would be pissed. And I can only apologize to the person that maybe I do end up facing. And I can only apologize to myself as well for, for choosing to do this challenge and having to make a team like this. Anyway, let's see if we can get a win. Okay, we found a uh, poor unfortunate soul. So they're uh, Firewalk Grass Core. They've got the, uh, the Fantasy Core as well. Steel, Dragon, and Fairy. Oh god, it looks like they know what they're doing. Which is going to make this even tougher. So, Electabuzz, of course, gets following me. Mm. I don't feel super confident leading or a choreo into this. I think Trick Room is probably the way to go. A little bit worried about the, the King Gambit. I can see that being led. I can't really lead the Overquill here. So, oh, you know what, call me crazy. We're going to lead the Quilava. We're going to try and threaten the uh, the King Gambit as much as we can. Hmm. 
Quaquaval in the lead though. You know what? I don't think Quaquaval's that good. I've got to change this around before time runs out. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna lead the Oranguru. We're gonna put the Overcrawl in the back. And then we're gonna bring the Oin Cologne. Because I think they're gonna lead the King Gambit. Overquill's not doing a whole lot for me here. Not Overquill, sorry. Quaquaval's not doing a whole lot for me here. So the the plan is, at least to start things off. Because I can't freely eruption with, with Quilava in the lead, right? Because it's just going to get mullered and it's not going to do much damage. So we're actually going to swap the uh, the Overquill in. And I'm going to go for the Burning Jealousy. And we're going to get Burn. That's it. That's how Plan 1's going to turn out. They don't even lead the... <laughs> no, they don't even lead the, uh, the King Gambit. Okay, that's that's all right though. It's pretty good that we've led the, uh, the Oranguru here. I think Electabuzz does get Taunt. Hmm. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for the trick room. I feel like there's a taunt coming out somewhere. That's a lot of damage. I'm sure it gets taunt. And I think that's what we're going to see. Waiting with baited breath. What's it gonna, it's the Blaziken. I was not expecting that. The taunt into the Quilava. <laughs> Wonder what they were trying to what they were trying to taunt there. Okay, right. Can Oranguru survive this turn? I'm not entirely convinced that it can. Maybe we just pull the double switch. If they protect the Blaziken though, that would be really nice. Because then I can get the, uh, the Bulldoze off. But at the same time, I think it should probably be the double switch, right? So we're going to do that. We'll have to call it off on the uh, on the self-activating weakness policy for the time being. Assuming it's physical Blaziken, it could be mixed, could be special, but assuming it's uh, it's physical, then the Intimidate makes sense. Oh, it does protect him. We could have stayed in with the Oranguru and probably just gone from there. But it's okay, because we've got, we've got Threat on the field. Right. I don't really want to lock into Gunk Shot, because I'm thinking... Ahead to the Dragapult. So call me crazy, but this is the play we're going to make. And actually, no, this makes sense. This makes a lot of sense. We're going to high horsepower. Is it worth me to rasterize him? Maybe not. Maybe not yet, at least. And we'll throat chop the Electabuzz. Mm, so that's redirecting the Oink alone. That should be the slower of the two Pokemon we've got here. So Electabuzz gone. I still... 50% oh, though. Sadly, Oink alone goes down. So we're not going to see the policy activation this game. But it's kind of... Great news, because uh, Overcrawl is sticking around, and that's what we need to beat this uh, this Dragapult. We're going to bring in Oranguru, because we've got the foul play as well, of course. I think it's uh, I think it's banded Dragapult going on by the, the damage that we saw before. So Rillaboom comes in. Hmm.
We're going to foul play the Rillaboom. I think I'm okay to switch in the Quilava here. We've got to try and get this done before the trip room ends. And time is running out. Okay, so Terra comes out. We'll see. We'll see what this is. It's the Rillaboom. So I'm expecting, I say grass, but no, no, it's a defensive Terra in fire. I thought they might have just been going in with the attacks, to be honest. That's a nice Terra, yeah. So perhaps predicting the Quilava switch. Okay. You know what? I don't I don't mind this position that we're in. It's not it's not the worst. Can we get rid of this Rillaboom in one shot with the overquill? I think we do, right? I think we go for the uh, terrestrialization, get the boost on the overheat damage. I wonder which Pokemon's faster out of these two. I'm not sure. Not sure on Quilava's base speed, believe it or not. So, Overquill is the faster Pokemon. We're going to do it. Let's go for the uh, terrestrialization and the overheat. This is it. This is the turn. I think there's still one more turn of Trick Room afterwards. I think. And if there is, then I'm, I'm very happy with that. If there's not, I'm less happy. So Blaziken goes for the Protect. No Grassy Glide. Okay, great. Throat Chop gets the job done. Now again, I'm not counting the uh, Trick Room turns. I'm hoping that we've got one more turn. We've got to sit through the animations first, of course. No! Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, I thought we might have pulled this one off. We have not pulled this one off, though. I think this is all over. Oh, well played. Right. Throat chop there. I mean, they just double tap the uh, the overquill, right? <laughs> oh no! Oh god! I had it dangled in front of my face there. I thought that we actually might have done it. I can't believe that that dragon darts just straight. KO'd the Quilava. Right. This ain't over yet. We've got a little bit of grassy terrain. I can't remember how much damage the close combat did, but it was close. Come on, Overquill. Oh god! Devastated. Oh, that could have been it. That could have been it. We could have got the win. Came down to the wire. GG. Right, on to the next one. On to the next one now. So the mouse hold annihilate, and there is a rain team as well. Immediately, Quackle Val actually looks pretty good. Considering we've got the choice scarf on there, we can uh, we can hit like. Five of these Pokemon for super effective damage between the moves that we've got going on. Do I want to attempt Trick Room? I feel like I do. So we're going to attempt Trick Room. And 
and we are going to bring in the... The, uh... What's it called? Sinistra is a bit of an issue because they're covering the uh, the fire weakness. I do have sunny day though, don't I? But not if I go trick room, I don't. Do we need the oin cologne? Yeah, I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna bring the Uncle Cologne. And Overquill, of course, can hit the. Uh, what am I saying? That's not the Uncle Cologne. Overquill can hit the Sinister Chuff for super effective damage as well. So we've still got Fret there. I think these are the four we go with. We catch them out in the beginning with our Choice Scarf Quackleval that's gonna allow us to get up Trick Room with a Choice Scarf Quackleval on the field for the first turn of Trick Room. <laughs> and then hopefully we can get the game sewn up within the Trick Room turns. Mousehold Archaludon, I would, that is not a duo I was expecting in the lead. Pelipper Archaludon, sure. Mousehold Annihilate, sure. But these two, no. Right. Please don't show me a Focus Sash. Do we instruct? No, they swap the um, they swap the mouse hold to Pelipper here. They go for the electro shot into the Quackle Val. But I can't let them get the attack. Oh, I can kind of let them get the attack off actually with the with the mouse hold. I feel like Orangery should survive that. So actually, I'm going to close combat the Archaludon. That's why they've led these two. So they can pull the switch, right? It's actually really nice. Yeah, they can switch the Archaludon into the Annihilate as well. They don't switch. God, we're taking two attacks now. Hmm. Oh, of course, Taunt. Go ahead and do that. Well, we get another bite of the cherry with uh, with Quackleval. I think now's the turn they pull the switch, if anything, and get the mouse hold out there. Um. We are going to bring in the... Oin Cologne. So we're going to close combat the Mouse Hold. Because I think they might switch to the Annihilate, to be honest. Now we'll bring in the Overquill. We'll get the Intimidate off. So Rangry switches first. So maybe they're not pulling the switch, which I'm really surprised by. Rastalization is coming out. That was pretty dangerous, actually, because if they'd have swapped the Archaludon, that would have gone before this would be Ghost Terror in it. Then um, that would have actually swapped before the Orangaroo, and then I would have ended up intimidating the Annihilate and activating the Defiant. Yeah, nice play. Hmm. We avoid the Draco. Nice. Right, we've got to be real careful here. Because we're starting to maybe take a bit too much damage. On the things as we're switching in. I don't really want the Orangaroo to take damage on the way in, but it may be unavoidable. Because I think having Overquill and Oin Cologne on the field on the following turn, if all things work out, is probably not the best position to be in. Let's see, let's see how it pans out. Oh, nice, nice. You know, I've never actually seen this combination, but uh, it makes a ton of sense. Hmm. Okay, 
so, right. What are they doing with the Archadow Don? I think they're going into the Overquill. They don't even body press, they flash can. Wow. Thought for sure they were body pressing after the beat up. I was kind of hoping they did, because I'd like to get the uh, like to have the Quackle Vow in now. I'll totally threaten the Archadow Don. Oh god. Right, Sinistra comes in. Interesting uh Pokemon they've gone for here. Not not the ones I was expecting to see. I'm still going to try and go for this Trick Room. Man, how do I beat the, uh, the Archaludon though? Trick Room is maybe not the best route to beating this Archaludon, so they're switching out. They're just trying to keep it alive, right? Into the Pelipper. Damage on it. And the Electro Shot. Okay, so into Overquill. So Overquill's gonna go down. Done a good old job though. Now the question is, and I think I know the answer to this question, can we knock out this Archaludon? Unfortunately, I think the answer is no, because they're going to swap in the... The what's it called? The um, Sinistar again. Right. Our angry slower, so we're going to get the bulldoze off. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. We're going to high horsepower. Yeah, so there's a swap. And this one's going to be all over if the Sinister has Rage Powder, which i got the feeling it probably does, right? I mean, unless we score the, the crit here. This is what we need. This is our M&M moment. One shot, one opportunity on Cologne. Come on. Okay, there's the there's the policy. God, we've got to wait for all these drops first. <laughs> got to wait for the stamina. We've got to wait for the. I think the symbiosis. Yep, we do. <laughs> oh man, oh man, right. Whoa, we survive. Don't rage powder, please. Oh, maybe I should have gone for the foul play protect. I don't think it matters. I think they go for the foul, uh, the, uh, the rage powder. They, they don't, they don't. Going for life, you aren't they? That's what they've got, yeah. Electro shot again. Man, just a, a single crit would have would have done. I mean, I don't know why I'm saying that. Like that's some some crazy thing. Like one single, of course, single crits always swing games, pretty much. <laughs> oh god. We almost uh, managed to do it, but uh, man. 
Maybe things would have been different if on that turn one we'd have just gone for the close combat to the mouse hold. Right, how many turns left have got a trick room? I think this one's all over though, isn't it? Two turns left. I don't think even a crit, the crit foul play is getting the Shadow Don gone, but we'll, we'll find out. I mean, I kind of have to lock into the Break Bird. We'll see, we'll see. If, if they, they get the Rage Bird, if they mess up this somehow. I mean, this ain't meant that. This, this is this is so not. We still want to turn a Trick Room afterwards, so they're going to knock out both our Pokemon this turn and the following turn. Quackle Val not surviving this, I don't think. Somehow. Oh, right. GG. GG. We'll end it there. So we've got one more battle to see if we can actually pull a win out somehow. Well played. On to that final one. Okay, we found our opponent. It's another Archaludon on this team. Kind of a mismatch. A mismatch. A pretty good Pokemon, honestly. Uh, but you can tell we're kind of falling down the ladder a little bit with this kind of comp. Um, not really a meta pick, as you'd say. Right. Not even sure. Not even sure with this one. I don't think we go Trick Room. Yeah, we don't go Trick Room. Okay, this is it. Overquill. Oricorio. Quillava. Quaquaval. Even though we're going to get Sunny Day up, hopefully, we're bringing the Quaquaval. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is it. Oricorio, you've not made an appearance yet. This is your opportunity to make a name for yourself. Coming in off the bench. Last minute of the game. That's a really cool trainer card, actually. That, that's quite a nice one. I forgot what game I was looking at then. I thought I was looking at, I don't know. What game might that be? Something from, not Doom Eternal. <laughs> Pokemon and Doom Eternal. Two very similar looking games. Right. I'm kind of feeling it. Yeah, I'm kind of just feeling it. The self-destruct. Right, what else have they got going on here? Got to be careful of the Serilege. For both the Quillava and the uh, the self-destruct that's about to come out and hit the, hit the field here. Do I need to Terrastalize? I'm going to say no. Because I expect this to be more than 50%. So the, I expect this to, to do some real damage to the, uh, the Meowskerader, no matter what. Oh, this is going to be... Oh, no, no. We, we, we've got to do this. I might just lose the Oricorio here, though, right? U-turn! Don't be Serilege. Can't read Japanese. It's the Archaludon. Okay, that's the second worst thing we could have seen. But at least this it's the Electro Web of all things. So we do uh, we do stick around with Oricorio. Or How much is this doing to the Electro Buzz? Wow, I did loads of damage. Was not expecting this to do quite so much. Now, let's have a quick look. Of course, we're bringing in the Quillava here. Unfortunately, this sunny day is going to go off after the fact. We do need to bring in Quillava now, though. for the big eruption. 
we'll go for the sunny day as well. I, I think it's worth just going for it now. Um, no, 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 we're not going to go for the sunny day. We're going to go for the revelation dance. Maybe the sunny day is not necessarily, not necessary uh, after all. Because, of course, we'll end up weakening the, uh, the quack or vow when it comes in. So that electro web actually lowering our speed there is giving me a little bit of uh, consideration as to what to do here. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Come on, Quilava. Oh, nice. Just straight KOs the Archaludon. So we might actually do this. Not get too far ahead of ourselves, though. It's not over yet by any means. But, Tailwind up. I'm almost certain that is Scarfed Mouskerader. So, it might outspeed the Quilava here. And it is Severage in the back, which makes things a little bit rough as well. Does it have? I'm gonna. I'm gonna assume it has Shadow Sneak, so I can't even. I can't even safely swap out the uh, the Oricorio here because I was thinking of swap into the Quackleval. Yeah, let's faster. Oh, they got the Oricorio. Okay, that was that was lucky. If they'd gone into Quilava there, that would have done a ton of damage. would have made the eruption pretty much useless. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. We've not seen a terrestrialization yet. Old cup as well. You know what? We're going to call it. We're going to call the, uh, the Grass Terror. We have to, right? There's no way it's not Grass Terror. We're locked into Eruption. I'd been. I would have. I don't know what I'd have done if I didn't terrestrialize there. Not in game. I mean, in real life. I don't know what I would have done. Okay. I'm not convinced we're getting this W, you know. Uh, not yet. Oh, that was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage, though. They go for the bulk up again. Okay. Right. How much recoil did we take? Uh, does Shadow Sneak knock us out? That's what this comes down to. They don't even Shadow Sneak. Okay, wow. We, uh, we managed to get the win somehow. GG to my opponent. I'm sorry that I did that. Um, again, apologies to everyone, including the viewers, including myself, for, for, for having to come up with this team and <laughs> try and get a win with it. We almost didn't get the win, but we managed to. And uh, we managed to... Well, Oricorio, there we go. It came off the bench. That's a really cool trainer card, though. Best trainer card going. Um, came off the bench and uh, was pretty much MVP setting up the, the, the win con earlier there. So, thankfully, mercifully, that's now behind us. Let's spin the wheel so we'll be using it in the next episode. So it literally came down to predicting the uh, terrestrialization there. That's why they went for the bulk up, right? They were hoping we'd uh, we'd go for the water move, but we managed to call it. Not the most difficult of plays to, to call, but uh, we had to make sure we got it right. And that's how difficult it is when it comes to using teams like that, right? <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty much coin flips. Um, but now that's behind us. Hopefully you enjoyed those games. I don't think they were they were, they were too terrible after all. It's pretty fun uh, in my, or playing it from my perspective anyway. Don't know about you. Might be, might be terrible. You might have unsubscribed already. But anyway, we're going to spin the wheel and see what we're using it in the next episode. Here we go. Oh, I thought it was going to go over the edge into I and N, and we're going to have another combination. But it's J, so let's see what we'll, what we'll be using. J. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's calm down for a moment here. Mistakes may have been made. Why are there only five Pokemon for you to choose from? And uh, only two. <laughs> I don't think... I, guys, I don't think... Call me crazy, but I don't think um, that we're using those Pokemon this in this next game. Let me close those ads. Stop looking at my ads. Right. J was supposed to be added on to something else. I can't remember what. Hopefully not O and Q, because now that's gone. I'm going to assume it was supposed to be with I and N. So, let's rectify this. Uh, I mean, I... Uh, we've, got, we've got a few Pokemon. A few Pokemon? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and then N. You know what? I and N could have been done on their own, to be honest. Um... But that's okay. We're going to chuck in J. We're going to chuck in J with uh, with I and N. So, if we have a quick look, N. We've got nine tails, of course. So we've got we've got double uh, weather we can go for between the nine tails forms. We've got fake out in Nuzleaf. Last time I did this uh, this series, we did use nine tails and Nuzleaf on the team, uh, but we'll see. We have. Prankster, pretty nice. Of course, we've got this guy, Incineroar. I don't know if you've heard about this Pokemon. It's not bad, though. Gets Intimidate. <laughs> Joke never gets old. Uh, and then, uh, and then of course, we've got the Jolteon and the Jumpluff. I mean, it's kind of screaming Sun Team, but we'll see. I might throw a curveball and not do Sun. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please do consider liking the video, like I said earlier, and leaving comments. Once again, why is there a Chansey? See if you can figure that one out. Next episode probably will be the Wheel of Fortune, but it might not be. I might I might make an actual team and take a run up the ladder and then share that team with you guys. We'll see. But thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll catch you in that next episode. You take care.